No, like, seriously, what the fuck is up with the French? Like, how can the people, how can the creative people who are known for making the tasty delicacy known as stale, eggy, like, delicious, eggy bread also be known as the people who eat snails? Hmm. Like, what the fuck is up with that? Don't talk about stupid questions. So let me, let me drop some straight facts on you guys about fucking Aunt Jemima syrup. Alright. Aunt Jemima syrup is goddamn trash. Like, it is, it is like the absolute minimum baseline. Like, if I was impoverished and I need syrup, I, I, I might be able to settle for, for Aunt Jemima syrup. But oh my god. Have you ever tried other syrups? Like, just like, unreal maple syrup? Yeah, I'm, al I'm allowed to be a bit snobbish about maple syrup, because... <laughs> yeah, my boss from Canada, of course. Um, but like... Fucking, the difference is such night and day. Really, why is... Why is Aunt Jemima so bad? Oh yeah, dude, let me... Let me let me go into my supermarket and grab a fucking bottle of Aunt Jemima fucking light syrup. What's the point of light syrup? It's syrup. It's sugary tree blood. What are you doing having it light? Oh yeah, I want to reduce the sugar in my 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 caloric fucking Aunt Jemima, you know, tree blood. My syrup. Yeah, of course. That's why I need to reduce my calories. My syrup. It's not like, oh, don't eat the syrup. Don't have- no. Reduce the calories. Oh, he got pissed. He enraged. Okay. Cool looking Anjanath. I love how the Anjanath comes in and, like, the music is almost clownish. Yeah, brother, we're on the circus now. <laughs> mm. Alright, point made, bye. No, fuck! I wanted to get the pink Rafi and footprints. Alright, have a good night. Give me the nut! Nut! Thank you. Be sure to tuck in, donkey. Or a gremlin will come and haunt you in your dreams. Oh. Yep! Man, just let me do it to him. Alright, I, I, we need more dumb hypotheticals. Uh, the stream... The stream's getting too boring. Not enough qu stupid questions have been asked. We need more dumb hypotheticals. Donald Trump slowly, over the course of roughly a month, turns more and more transparent until he's entirely invisible. No other symptoms. He just can't be seen. I... Is this a question? I mean, I, I, I guess it's a hypothetical situation. What, what would that even mean? I, I assume this was made during his pre- like, this post was made during his presidency. Why, like, what possible effect would that- I mean, I guess everyone would be confused. I'm sure there are a lot of people that will be like, dude, Donald Trump just doesn't exist anymore, it was just part of the simulation. It's not really like a very, like the other one is just like clothes. Like what clothes would you wear? Now it's just like the me the president, the former president of the United States is invisible. What happened? What happened? No, he just slowly turns invisible. Does he ever become visible again? Is this a metaphor to some part of it? I don't fucking know, man. All right. Um. 
I, I, I guess new hypothetical question here. Okay. All right. th th this should be a good one. All right. You find a genie who offers you one of these powers. Which do you choose? One, you never need to eat or drink again. You can still eat or drink if you want to. Your body will always maintain a healthy weight regardless of how much or little you eat. You never need to sleep again. You can still sleep if you want to. You will always be fully alert. You will never age. Your body will turn its prime state and remain there for the rest of your life. You're still vulnerable to death by non-age related causes. You can rewind time up to back an hour or take just as long to recharge as you rewind so you can't go back further than one hour you receive sa a salary every week equivalent to the average in your country you will never end up in any trouble with the government regarding where this money comes from and you can still work for more money if you want i mean like this is actually a pretty cool hypothetical situation um i would definitely go for the aging one 100 percent 100% I would definitely take the, um, uh, the one where I, where I'm just, you know, basically eternal youth. I'll take that. I would choose money. <laughs> you really don't like, uh, looking for jobs and shit like that, Doodles? Tyrant, like, but you can only rewind back an hour, right? So, We've made good progress on you can't, history, you can't present... Like, you can't prevent yourself from dying of old age unless we scientifically come up with a way to, like, prevent that from happening, right? So, like, you could, if you're, like, fast enough and you realize you're going to die, then you could try and rewind time. Like, you're still pretty vulnerable. And Doodles chooses money because of fuck having to look for jobs, am I right? <laughs> if you choose money you could stream all the time and work on your art all the time right but if i get to the point where in streaming where i could do that without like where it earns me enough money so that i can continue to do it why would i need the salary bonus like i guess it would be a boat like a bonus you'd never have to worry about your basic necessities right but if you're like currently like that's most people's goals. Basic goals is like to meet your basic necessities. It's a baseline. Like, it would be very nice. But like... I feel like... I feel like it's not... It's, it's not as worth it as just simply never having to get old. Immortality is a curse, but it's not true immortality. I can still fucking die. I could shoot myself in the face and die. Look, I understand there's a lot of philosophical arguments like, ah, oh, yes, immortality, bad. But, like, I'm not gonna live fucking forever. I can still fucking get shot and die. It's just that I don't have to do with old age, and old age itself is a disease. Not in terms of that old people are a disease, right? But more in the fact that your body is literally degrading and, like, breaking down. No, you wouldn't. Tyron, I would not keep looking old. The, the question, the, the hypothetical question is that you will never age. Your body will return to its prime state and remain there for the rest of your life. Literally, I would not look old. I would be, like, 21. Forever. Or whatever my peak crime is. I don't know, man. And I, I, I'm, I'm going against uh, what you're saying, Dougals. Mostly because I have the, enough belief in myself to say, like, eventually I'll get here. But that makes your goals, your dreams, a side project in life you have to live. They're not going to remain a side project forever. In fact, this is one of the main goals here. Like, even, even if I have to be working as an accountant right or whatever like whatever i end up doing for like a decent living i can use that to finance like off and on periods of work believe in yourself imagine meeting someone falling in love with them settling down and finding out they were one of the people that stockpiled toilet paper during the 2020 coronavirus outbreak i mean like Depends on how strong their relationship is, I guess. How, how harshly would you judge someone for past mistakes? That's really the question. And have they changed as a person? I'm always down for forgiveness.
I would like to believe I can forgive most people for most things. Like, that if someone truly does change, I, sh I would be able to accept them changing. Right? And, like, accept them as the person they're changing into. Yeah, I got the mount, yeah! Hey, I also about tall I also asked about tall bitch, and I replied with the fact that um, uh, booba, booba is why why the pelvic meat go up. Dude, get pull up gun, kneel down, hail. What? Oh no. No, Basil Goose, I'm not ready to fight you. Please go away. Thank you. Basil Gisu. Uh, but more hypotheticals. Uh, 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 yeah, forgive and forget as much as you can. Depends on how genuine they are. Uh, Uh, if a 20 year old breaks a bottle of liquor in a store that has you break it or buy policy, would it be legal to make the 20 year old buy it? Because in the United States, the, it's 20. Um, I guess. I don't know, like. I don't know how that would shake out legal wise. I would say go contact a fucking lawyer for that one. Would you trust the secret squirrel with a secret? Who the fuck's the secret squirrel? Is there a secret? Who? Why would you ever trust a squirrel? What makes a squirrel trustworthy? Who is the secret squirrel? You're responsible for contracts at 18, so yes, the 20 old would be responsible. I mean, that does make sense for the, the liquor one. And it's like, it's not like they're gonna be able to consume that alcohol when you fucking break it across the floor. Unless they're like, oh dude, five second rule. And they just start licking up like a ball of jack off the ground. And it's just awful because like there's shards of glass everywhere. And it's just like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. And it's just fucking blood. Blood and alcohol. And it's just awful. But never underestimate the lengths people will go for booze.